This is tragical. Oh, you ruined it. <laughs> well. <laughs> um Kira Knightley the cactus has perished. She I ate, could she... not keep her <laughs> What happened to her? She like imploded on her. She did. She like caved in. She's not well. <laughs> Is she gone? Did you throw her out? No, she's just there dead. Maybe you need to move her. I think she's dead. I don't think she's coming back. No. I'm just going to replace her with something else eventually. <laughs> I'm sad. I liked Kira. Anyway. Oh, and then the farm ASMR lady on Instagram is emo goat mom, but on TikTok is mm-hmm. steady rain. Love that. So. We stand a queen. I love it. I just wanted everyone to know because the best ASMR is horse I ASMR. I love that. Um, and then also... In the Peter Pan episode, we talked about a dinghy, and I was like, no, dinghies are inflatable. <laughs> but they're both. Like, a, a rowboat is a dinghy, and then also... That's what I thought. Like, rubber boats are also dinghies. And so the, I was not incorrect. You weren't wrong, but I wasn't either. <laughs> I didn't say you were. True. Okay. Dinghy life. Dinghy life. I'm putting it on the back of my car. Dinghy wife. Dinghy life. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, this week... We're going to tell you why... I got it's the, the title. longest name. Wait, 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 I have it. Pooh's Grand Adventure, The Search for Christopher Robin. Is tragical. First things first, this is the title of a film. His name is Winnie the Pooh. Or Pooh Bear. This is so informal. It's so informal and it's so disrespectful. He is Winnie the Pooh. Okay. It should be Winnie the Pooh's Grand Adventure, The Search for Christopher Robin. I know that extends the title even more, but... That's probably why they did it. That's very informal of them. Winnie the Pooh worked hard for his title to be the Winnie of Pooh, so... <laughs> why is he... Why is that his name? Winnie the Pooh? Yeah. I, I couldn't find that. I actually looked for that, and I couldn't... I mean, like, I found out why Winnie, but I couldn't figure out the, the Pooh part. I can't help you. I don't know. Okay. Should I read my fun facts? Do you have some fun facts? I do. Give them to me. Okay, so I'll start with that one, I guess. So Winnie the Pooh's original name was actually Edward, but Christopher Robin, who is a real child, um, loved going to the zoo, and there was an actual bear that he used to feed condensed milk to (laughs) on a spoon. The 30s were a wild time. I guess so. And so he liked the name Winnie, who was a female bear, even though his bear is he was a male. He was like, I like the name Winnie and changed his bear's name to Winnie. Um, Where'd the poo come from? I don't. I couldn't find that. I did look for that. I, right. If you guys know, please tell us because I couldn't find it. Um, you can write Pooh Bear a birthday letter on his birthday, which is August 21st. You can mail it to him. I absolutely will. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to. All the way to the UK, right? Yes, yeah. Oh, man. I'm pumped. And then, uh, let me see. I wish I had my 2021 planner. I'd put it in right there. Right <laughs> now. Pretty much every year since 1984, there is an actual Pooh Sticks World Championship. I love that. Oh, where they throw little sticks in the water and they race. Which, Fun Aww. fact off of my fun fact, there's a zoo in Tampa that we go to all the time, and they have this little river that goes through like, the aviary, and we used to play poo sticks in there, so when we were we little. We did? Yeah, we did. That's so fun for Literally us. Literally every that. single time we went to the zoo, we played poo sticks we were, in the we aviary. We loved poo We kids. did. We were stands. <laughs> um, I have two more. Winnie the Pooh has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. No shit. Mm-hmm. And then... Owl and Rabbit are the only two characters that are not based on real stuffed animals that Christopher Robin had. And Rue is the only one not on display because he got lost at an apple orchard in the 30s. But Kanga and all the rest of them are there. Weird. Isn't that crazy? That's so wild. Yeah. Where are they? They're in a museum. We have to go now. Okay, <laughs> perfect. They're I really didn't cute. Wait, know. can you see the picture of them? I Wait, didn't I literally know. have it right here. Look how cute they are. Oh my gosh, we'll have to post this. <gasps> yeah. 
Oh my god, look at how scary. cute. Oh my god, no, are you scary. kidding? You want to see what Christopher Robin looks like? I'm he looks like a serial killer. Does he look like he murders people? Is he? He's gone, right? He I mean, this was in the anymore. 30s, so I'm gonna assume so. Let me see the dolls again. Oh my god, they're spooky. I mean, they're definitely see. It's just Kanga. They don't have Rue. Look how tiny Piglet is. I think Piglet is the fucking. I'm cutest. going to have nightmares <laughs> about Piglet. Okay, I think Piglet is the cutest. Oh my gosh, we'll have to post that on yeah. Instagram. I'll yeah, please that. save it. We'll post that article, too. Oh, they're actually in the New York Public Library since... In 19- New York? Yeah. In America? Since 1987. Is it open in COVID times? I have to go see that now. Let's go. Okay. I I'm mean, shook. I'm shook. I didn't know. Let's go tomorrow. I didn't know they were all... I thought... I knew Pooh was a real bear, but Mm -hmm. I didn't... I knew Eeyore and Piglet, Tigger... I didn't know about Rue and Kanga, though. And then I thought Rabbit was one of them. Piglet was horrifying. He's so little. (laughs) Also, Cat picks the longest movie titles. She... Pirates of the Caribbean. Now (laughs) fucking Pooh's adventure. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know why this one came to mind out of all of the Winnie the Pooh movies. It literally just came to me. I was like, yeah, yeah, the one with Skull Rock and all of that. It's super cute. First of all, I would just like to say I'm Mm going to try really hard to not say how cute Pooh is, (laughs) even though I just said it. (laughs) I just like, what what the actual fuck? Why is Pooh there? (laughs) Why is Winnie the Pooh just the cutest cutest thing on earth? And I think because he's so just pure, you just so, want to protect him. He must be protected. At all costs. He is the sweetest angel baby. 110%. He literally only has a shirt on. Another crop top king. Him and Smee <laughs> are crop top kings together. They're in a club. <laughs> They're in a fucking exclusive <laughs> club. Oh, no. So it starts out this mm-hmm. uh, beautiful, long-titled movie. Pooh Bear's just hopping through the Hundred Acre Woods. Just being Pooh. He's heading to uh, the tree where him and Christopher Robin meet, I mm-hmm. suppose. It's a great day to be Pooh. And he's so into himself. <laughs> it's a great yeah. place to be Pooh. It's a great day to be Pooh. It's a great place to be Pooh. But honestly, like, he deserves it because he's so cute. It's fine. He can be as conceited as he would like. <laughs> if it doesn't I looked like matter. Winnie the Pooh, I would Oh, be. my God. He so, does, he's so cute. Normally, when people are that into themselves, it's annoying, but not Pooh. I think it's Pooh's because allowed. it's not in a malicious way you know what I mean like he just genuinely doesn't know anything else except for how cool he is yeah <laughs> like no one's ever body yeah. shamed him no one's ever been like you need to wear pants when you go out in public who says <laughs> right no one's ever told him you eat too much honey he just lives his life he's and so he's cute. content with it and I that's how I'm trying to be because that is not how right. I am <laughs> And then Christopher Robin meets up with him, and he tells Pooh um, something not so nice to tell him, and Pooh is like, It can wait. No. <laughs> no, I don't want to know. And Christopher Robin's like, wait, what? And he's like, yeah, nope, I'd rather just not know. <laughs> when can I tell you? Never. He says never. Never. That's fair. That is That's fair. That's me in 2020. I'm like, I can, I can physically not hear any more bad news. Right. I Nope. Please don't give it to me. Don't tell me. <laughs> so they have their beautiful long day together. They go do stuff. I don't know. They probably play poo sticks. Poo sings a song about being friends and I started crying. Already crying. It's five minutes in. <laughs> right. And then they're chilling in a tree at the end of a long day of fun. Mm-hmm. And Christopher Robin gives Poo a little quote to remember to get him through in case he can't come hang out. Right. I just wrote quote because I knew you would write it. <laughs> yeah, I like how you looked at me. First of all. I just wrote quote. I hate you. First of all, I have the quote on my wall. It is one of my favorite quotes too. Maybe that's why I picked this movie. I subconsciously knew it was from this. Okay. Um, but it's, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. It's so It's so cute. cute. Like, he's telling his stuffed bear to remember this about himself. These movies are so wholesome. I like, think that's why I hate them because they're so just precious. They're so you know? cute. And before Christopher Robin can even finish uttering those words, Pooh Bear is asleep. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> he I don't knocked know. out. I don't know. What was the last part of the quote? Line three. Um, you are smarter than you think. Oh, maybe not Pooh Bear. Yeah, he's not very smart. No. He's very cute, though. He is very cute. He's not very strong, either. No. So, it's the next day. Yeah. At a 
Mr. Sanders' house. Yep. Do we know who Mr. Sanders is? Is that Christopher Robin's last name, maybe? No, the last name was, it wasn't it A.A. Milne, is who wrote it? I couldn't tell you, bro. But it's spelled with a Z. It's S-A-N-D-E-R-Z, and I love that. Oh, my God, how did I know Sanders. that? A.A. Milne is who wrote Who's the book. Sanders, then? I don't know. I remember it's it's relevant, but I don't know. Who's just, like, no. squatting in like, somebody's house. He just lives at somebody else's house. Somebody's house. Um, but he wakes up very excited because it is the first day of autumn. He loves autumn. I mean, who doesn't? It's my favorite season. I don't uh, love autumn. I love fall. It's my favorite. I'm a summer bitch. Oh. Spring can go fuck itself. Yeah, spring it's like, allergies. I just, nope. I, I can't breathe. I disappear <laughs> for four months. Uh, but then, so he wakes up and he goes outside all excited that it's the first day of autumn and there is a mysterious honey pot right outside his door. I wish. Yeah, so just leave, I mean, we had that happen, but it was our neighbor's uh, Chipotle order. Oh my god! <laughs> and I brought it inside Pat and... stole somebody's Chipotle. I didn't know. Listen, we all order so much food all the time from like Uber Eats that I just like assumed it was one of the roommates. So I just brought it inside and then I texted y'all and I was like, hey, one of y'all's food is here. And you were both like, we're not home. And I was like... Uh, I would just like to state I would never order Chipotle because it's I gross. definitely would and D definitely would too. And then someone was banging on our door, but it was so aggressive that it scared me and I was home alone. So I was like, I'm not answering the fucking door. And then I realized it was our neighbor and it was probably their Chipotle order. It's so we so got awkward. free Chipotle. Yeah, I felt really, really bad. It's not even like we could eat it. It had chicken in it. Anyway. Yeah. It so sad. And then I was going to bring it over, but then they left. They probably went to go get their fucking Chipotle, bro. No, because somebody else showed up later and oh brought my God. it. But anyway, moving a on. Crime. So, <laughs> um, so there's a mysterious honeypot outside his door and there yes. is a note on it, but he doesn't see the note and he just starts eating. Well, he goes to eat the honey and then he's like, I don't know who this is. I don't know if I should just eat it. I'm going to ask Christopher Robin what he I should do. He is smarter than he thinks. Ooh, see? See, he's not going to eat some mysterious honey. He doesn't know what it's laced he's with. Like, I don't know who honey <laughs> this is. So he goes to ask Christopher Robin whose honey pot it is and what he should do with it. And he gets to the tree and Mr. Christopher Robin isn't there. And he no. keeps calling him. And it's the saddest freaking thing. He's so upset that his friend isn't there. <laughs> so then Pooh goes to Piglet's house. And he's like, yo... Chris for Robin's missing. Verbatim. But <laughs> but Piglet is climbing a, a tree, the, the tree that he lives in, because he's going to conquer his fear of heights. And I guess that's the way he decided to do that. Yeah, it's it went really well because the branch broke, broke and then he was dangling from a tree. Piglet is so cute. Piglet is me. Piglet makes me sad. Yeah. Because he's so small. And anxious. Small and small anxious. Small and anxious, it's me. Tigger uh, tramples poo like he does. <laughs> and then he's like, oh, Piglet is stuck in the tree. So he bounces up real high trying to grab Piglet. But he can't. No. He can't bounce high enough. And then Piglet falls <laughs> and hits Tigger. Mm -hmm. And then they hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. <laughs> um, and every acorn from that tree also falls. With every them. acorn in Earth falls. Well, just under it. Onto like that, that. It's ground. Yeah. Because it creates like an acorn ocean. Correct. And, and they're just riding the wave. They're riding the acorn wave. <laughs> And it flows all the way down to poor Rabbit's house. Mm -hmm. Rabbit's just trying to garden. He's got his almanac out. I always misgendered Rabbit, and I feel pretty bad about it. I, I always knew Rabbit was a boy. I knew Rabbit was a boy. I just always say she, and I don't know why. I'm the worst. I would just like to say if you're Piglet, that I am you're Rabbit. Rabbit. <laughs> Correct. Just gardening. A huge fucking bitch. Like, rule follower. Just literally, like, I'm reading my almanac. This carrot's coming out right now. And this fucking carrot's coming out. Just super. If any small thing goes wrong is just super Panic. pissed yeah just like yeah fuck mm -hmm. i'm rabbit yep that is correct i'm also a <laughs> buddy rabbit <laughs> in you case you guys didn't, didn't know <laughs> she is in fact a rabbit um, but yeah so the corns pick up rabbit in his garden <laughs> carry him away shit and then eeyore's <gasps> Building his stick house, which falls down every 18 seconds. My sweet boy, he has always been my favorite. I think everybody in 2020 is Eeyore, so there is that. He makes me cry. I and love him so, so much. The corns pick up Eeyore and, break down and destroy his little house. I'm going to cry thinking cut. about it. And then uh, they finally stop, and Pooh is like, 
yeah, about this honey. Can I eat it? <laughs> That's all he's worried about. <laughs> he's like, so guys, I found this honey. <laughs> and I really main, like to eat it. This is the main <laughs> concern here. And Rabbit finds the note and is like, I can read this and I know you can't. Mm -hmm. So Rabbit is trying to read it and it's covered in honey. Again, a total know-it-all. Yeah. That's me. Literally I am Rabbit. (laughs) Uh, Trying to read the note, but it's covered in honey and he's like, I can't fucking read this. I'm Jared. I'm 19. So (laughs) they (laughs) have to bring it to Owl. Also, Owl is just no. Yeah, he's kind of really annoying. He just has a bunch of owls on his wall that's yeah. like the one bird you don't hate i feel like yes owls are actually my they're favorite like the bird. worst ones no they are they're horrifying cool. and they like represent wisdom and i just think owls are cool they're loud as fuck they're also very mean <laughs> owls reading the note and he says that the note says that christopher robin has gone far away and that they should worry about him i've gone far away worry about me bye please worry about me and so Pooza said that his best friend is gone. And who has who has walked? I'm sorry. While <laughs> Owl is interpreting this note, Pooh has walked to the window and is staring into the sun. <laughs> like so he's so, having an existential crisis. At, this is the first time I cried during this movie <laughs> out, out of a hundred times. Right. But he's literally just no. He cannot grasp that Christopher Robin has gone far away. Yeah. He's just like staring off into the sunset. And it made me Piglet sad. is like. Well, I'll be your best friend. And Pooh's like, well, you guys are all my best friends, but Christopher Robin is my, like, very best friend, which yeah. is kind of like a stab at Piglet. Damn, all right. I know. And then Owl starts flipping the fuck out, and he's like, wait, it got worse. And they're all like, it got fucking worse. How the hell can it get worse? He went to Skull. He went to Skull, spelled S-C-H-O-O-L. OMG, not Skull. Skull. He went to Skull. S-C-H-O-O-L. Skull. I can't believe Christopher Robin went to Skull. He went to Skull, my dude. Bro, I don't know why I was cracking up. <laughs> it was pretty good. First of all, who, who made Owl the smart one? And Christopher Robin. <laughs> Because this is his imagination. Well, he's not smart enough. But he is smart in the fact that he gets them all riled up, writes them directions. Yeah, he starts making shit up. Yeah. Writes them directions and is like, I'm not going with you. Bye. He trap doors them. He does. He makes up a fake ass map. Tells them where. Yeah. He's he's like, you're going to go through these spooky woods. Yeah. Scary pulls whatever. Pulls a lever, trap yeah. doors and rolls them out the tree. And then waves bye. And then Piglet and Rabbit, Eeyore, Tigger, and Pooh are on an adventure to find Christopher Robin. I just don't know how Eeyore got roped into this because he literally just... I think he just wants to be there. Does he though? Yeah. Okay. I think he secretly wants to be there really I love him bad. so much that it like makes me die inside. Me too. They're trying to get to Skull at the end of the day. Correct. Christopher Robin is in the eye of Skull. Yes. So they have to follow this made up map right. that Owl has made them. That he just drew up. That he's not going with, though. He's right. He's going to stay in Well, his... he said Pooh is really good at direction, so he's in charge of the map. Yeah, he makes Pooh the general, and I was like... I mean, of all their options... Call. Eeyore would be a great leader. I do agree He with stays that. calm under pressure. Everybody likes him. Okay, that's fair. He Eeyore for president. He has a pink bow. <laughs> he's the fucking cutest. He's precious. <laughs> right. First, they go through the woods. The woods yeah. are, they cross the bridge, mm-hmm. and they head into the woods. So there's the big woods, the bigger woods, and the biggest woods. So they go through yeah, all Yeah, girl. Yeah, you man. know, I'm talking about the biggest woods. The biggest woods. You know what I'm saying? And then anyway. they make it to Upside Down Rock, where... Monsters um, are. Yes. There's a loud noise, and it spooks them all. It's a growl. Like a and growling noise. And they all think it's the Skullosaurus that Owl also made up and terrified them all with. Oh, yeah. I forgot about Skullosaurus. Yeah, Skullosaurus. So they all That's think the... That's my band name. What the blood is at the fuck? What the blood is at the... That's, we're just going to we're gonna cover that song. Skullosaurus. That's, yeah, it's just a cover band for that one song. <laughs> for just, just that. that song. Just that part. Do nothing else. So <laughs> Rabbit takes the map and he's like, fuck y'all. You can't read this correctly. Rabbit says... I'm the smartest person right. here. Right. I will take over. Mm-hmm. And I would just like to say again that I am Rabbit. <laughs> that was literally when we went to New York and we were all like, we don't know where we're going. And you were like, no, we're going to turn left. We're going to turn right. We're going to turn left. And we're there. And we were all like, how the fuck? 
I was Did you know I where we were in going? my element. I think I'm meant to be in New York. I think you are, too. I need to go back. <laughs> Let's go back. We have to go to the... See them anyway. This is a New York-themed episode. <laughs> we thought it was UK-themed, but it's jokes actually on you. <laughs> New York-themed. We're going tomorrow. Rabbit takes the map, and he's like, we're going to go this way into these forests with pokey plants. There's yeah, a lot of- a, it's called a briar patch. Hello, have you ever been on Splash Mountain? Who are you? Yes, but they call them pokey plants. So Do they? Yes. Oh. So I called them pokey plants. <laughs> They're in a briar patch, basically. Mm -hmm. They're all getting poked. They hear the growl again. Mm -hmm. And Piglet runs out of the briar patch into a beautiful meadow. And Pooh freaks out. He's like, no, wait, Piglet, come back. I can't lose you, too. And I I know, and I was like, fuck this Yep, cried again. Cried again. so cute. Cried again. This is where Melissa um, lost her ever-loving shit. So so embarrassed. She didn't know that Piglet was wearing a sweater. (laughs) She thought he was striped. So, listen. (laughs) They're in this beautiful meadow. Mm -hmm. There's a horde of butterflies. Mm -hmm. The butterflies start landing on Piglet and then pulling at Piglet's, what I thought, skin. (laughs) I thought Piglet was naked. I thought Piglet was just striped. I didn't realize that Piglet had on a fucking unitard, okay? (laughs) My whole life, my whole life has been a lie. I didn't know that you didn't know that he's wearing a little sweater. It's not a sweater, Katrina. It is. How is oh, that? government name. It's not a sweater. <laughs> no, it is a sweater. It's literally a leotard. It's, it's a not. short sleeve sweater. It's fuzzy. It has leg cutouts. It's a freaking, it's a leotard. It's a sweater unitard. It's not a sweater. It is. It's like fuzzy. It's like Sweaters sweater have material. Long arms. It's like the material of a sweater, though. Okay, so it's a it's a sweater leotard. Like That's it doesn't have said. it doesn't have sleeves. That's fine. It's a leotard. Okay. It's I didn't leotard. know Piglet had a leotard. I I just always thought Piglet was naked, like the rest of them. <laughs> Why is that so hard to believe? <laughs> Tigger naked, <laughs> Kanga and Roo naked. I just didn't know that you didn't know. Eeyore got a bow <laughs> on his butt. I just didn't know that you didn't know. I was like, why are those butterflies ripping off Piglet's skin? skin? And then you were like, he has on a sweater. (laughs) I was cracking up so hard. Of my 25 years. (laughs) My 25 years on this planet. I cannot Uh, even believe that Piglet has on a leotard. mm Mm-hmm. So anyway, the butterflies um, carry Piglet away. Moral of this this story. I do want to say... Pooh does say at one point, he, she, they, or them. I put that too. What an inclusive king. This was what, like 1997? Wasn't that it? Yes. An inclusive king. We stand. Pooh says, you want to be non-binary? You want to pick your gender? I know. Pooh was like, oh, look at the beautiful butterflies. And then he was like, he or she or they. they." Pooh Bear. Yes. 1997? Okay. If Pooh Bear can understand that there are more than two genders, then so can human beings. Not the lady with her MAGA hat on waiting in line to vote with her. There's only two gender shirt on. Okay, so Piglet is being carried away by butterflies. Mm -hmm. He's kind of freaking out again, doesn't love heights. (laughs) Pooh grabs onto Piglet, starts kind of weighing the butterflies (laughs) down. This honey-filled tummy. Poobs is a big boy. Also, I like to call Pooh Bear Poobs. And I hate it. Cat hates it, so I'll try to say it as little as possible. It sounds like pubes. No, it's like Pooh Bear, pubes, you know. It sounds like pubes. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. It does that. What do you mean it doesn't? <laughs> pubes. I hate it. It's so cute. Doesn't um, want the title to be Pooh's Grand Adventure, but calls him call Pooh. <laughs> and um, so Pooh and Piglet, the butterflies start to fly away. They're like, yo, yeah, this motherfucker done. is heavy. <laughs> this is a big boy. Mm-hmm. What's the thing on TikTok? Damn, boy. Damn, boy. That's a thick boy. <laughs> That's all the butterflies. <laughs> that's that's the butterflies. They were like, never mind. Mm-hmm. So they, Bubba, shut the fuck up. <laughs> 
So the butterflies drop Piglet and Pooh mm-hmm. because Pooh is heavy. Mm-hmm. And Piglet's all sad that he's not brave. He's like, I just want to be brave. Yeah, well, Pooh was trying to remember what Christopher Robin told him, but right. he was struggling. He, he couldn't remember. Yeah, he could not. Got He got none of that right. He no. just started spewing random words in random yeah. order. So next comes... The Forbidden Mountains. Right. Rabbit is the worst map reader, by the way. Oh, yeah. Rabbit's not doing great. And Rabbit tells them that the map says the best way to go is this way that none of them want to (laughs) go. Right. And they're like, well, the mountains are here to the left, so why are we going right? And Rabbit's like, well, because I'm telling you that that's what the map is saying is the best way. And then Rabbit sings a whole song where all he does is harass and assault all of them during his song. He just, like, is so rude to them and is harassing all of them about how he's the best map reader and all this shit. And they're all like, okay, I mean, sure, you had a whole song about it. I guess we'll follow you. But Um, then the map rips. Yeah, Rabbit rips the fucking map on a tree. And then he freaks out like he didn't just do it. I know. That was all you, my dude. And then Tigger tries to go after the map piece that flew away and falls into a canyon and can't bounce out. And then Pooh falls in trying to grab Tigger. Yeah. Things are going really good, basically. And Pooh's trying to remember again what Christopher Robert told him about strength. Because Tigger's all sad that his tail isn't strong enough. He's struggling, And he's, again, really not doing great with that. He's a good boy, Mm -hmm. though. And then Piglet grabs Pooh. And then Rabbit grabs Piglet. And then Rabbit grabs Eeyore. And then they all are dangling off a cliff. uh, And then they fall. Yeah. So that didn't go really great. No. But there's water at the bottom of this canyon. It's like mud. (laughs) Water, mud, (laughs) it's all the same to me. (laughs) Piglet is yelling yike at all of them as they're coming out of the mud because he thinks they're the Scullosaurus monster or just a mud monster or whatever creature of the Black Lagoon. Because Piglet is scared of everything. It's pretty great because Piglet's just like, yike! Yike! And then he's like, yike! He's like, oh, hey, Pooh. Yike! Oh, hey, Eeyore. (laughs) I liked that part. So then they hear the loud sound again. The growling. Yes. Uh, And they all start running away. Mm -hmm. Great Um, plan every time. Right. Every time. And then they get lost because Rabbit's the fucking worst. Yeah. And... They're lost in the fog. Rabbit gets really sad then because he's not smart enough to read the map. And again, for the third time, Pooh tries to remember what Christopher Robin told him. And... Not doing great Not doing great. So they all feel like failures, and they're all saying that none of them are good enough without Christopher Robin, which is pretty sad. Mm -hmm, They're all mm -hmm. like, yeah, without him, we're nothing. So then they go hide in a cave. Yeah, we see a cave. Yeah. Take a nappy. shrouded in some heavy fog. Yeah, So we're just going to go in there. Rabbit's freezing. Yeah, and Tigger is snoring really loud and Mm -hmm. wakes Rabbit up. Mm -hmm. And so Rabbit heads outside the cave and poobs is outside of the cave having a cry and again staring into the sky he literally sings a whole song about being sad and alone it's and honestly cold. i never want to see it ever again <laughs> it made me really it depressed really me to sad. no end pooh bear <sighs> pooh bear doesn't deserve my to be god. sad and cold and alone my god it. I'm it made really me crying so, thinking about it. It made me it. so depressed. I'm so upset. So then Rabbit goes to Pooh and it's like, everything's going to be okay. And they sleep outside the cave. <laughs> and then the next day, Piglet walks out of the cave that they all took a little sleep in and turns around and looks up. And guess what? It's the skull. It's skull. Um. So yeah, he gets terrified of skull. Which is really no funny shit. because they all freak out and like, oh my god, we have to go in there. Y'all just fucking slept in there. Yeah, but they just kind of sat in the mouth of the cave. They didn't go like deep in it or anything. But they were still like, oh my god, we have to go in there. But you spent all night in there. What you asking? So then they get inside, mm-hmm. like deeper in, and there's a bunch of different paths. Yeah, they gotta split up. Yeah, Pooh Bear so, decides. Yeah, General Pooh. I'm sorry. Right, he goes back to his title because freaking rabbits the worst. Yeah, rabbit sucks. So. Eeyore falls, making me cry again. Uh-huh. And he gets um, a, a tree trunk stuck on his weedle head. Mm-hmm. And so each of them have something happen to them after that. And yeah. Rabbit falls into a hole. Right. And just is just going down. Tigger uh, gets attacked by bats 
Mm -hmm. Coronavirus. Uh, Piglet trips on some rocks and falls onto Eeyore's head, but doesn't know it's Eeyore because he has the weird wood on his head and looks like a strange creature. He looks like a stegosaurus. A little bit. And then Pooh hears all of them individually yell Mm -hmm. out when they fall or whatever it was, and he gets really, really worried Mm -hmm. that the Skullosaurus ate them all. It did. So then (laughs) they all... Everyone else except Pooh ends up in this, I don't know if it was ice or like crystal, but in this cave filled with, I just wrote crystal. I'm going to say ice. Oh, okay. We'll agree to disagree. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I guess ice, ice because it, later on it makes sense I, that ice it's crystals. ice. Okay. So there's some ice crystals in this cavern and they all end up in there without Pooh. Yeah. Tigger um, runs into Rabbit mm-hmm. and then Eeyore runs into Tigger and mm-hmm. Rabbit with Piglet on his back. Mm-hmm. And they all see something in the crystal ice thing and they get really, really scared and start screaming and running because it's, it's a giant monster. It's obviously the Skullosaurus. Um, but it's just Pooh Bear. But they all run away from him, so they right. don't know that. And then Pooh falls and gets stuck in... In the ice cave. The ice cave thing. thing. Yeah, he's, like, squished. It's, like, a hole, and he his, like, face is squished in it, and it's just his, like, cheeks and his face are, like, sticking out of That's it. That's kind of what he's good at, is, like, getting, getting stuck, stuck in, in holes. holes. Yeah. That's his M.O. That is his thing. Same. <laughs> and then Rabbit, Tigger, Eeyore, and Piglet are trying to figure out how to get up to the eye Mm -hmm. of the skull Mm -hmm. because that's where Christopher Robin is. And then Rabbit comes up with a plan all on his own. Mm -hmm. No instruction manual. Nope. He just uses his brain power. Mm -hmm. And basically, Tigger jumps up super high and grabs a vine. And then Piglet climbs up super high to drop the vine so they can all climb up to the eye. And... While this is happening, Pooh is just watching his friends. Yeah. Me and stuck in the hole. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And they they all think that Pooh got eaten by the Skullosaurus. Obviously. So they're like, you know what? We're going to... We're going to make this work with poo on our mind and in our heart. I always have poo on my mind and in my heart. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> so Pooh's get, he got really excited watching all his friends, you mm-hmm. know, use their noodles and their strength and their bravery to do all of this. And uh, he gets so excited that he yeets himself from his little spot that he's stuck in. Yeah, he gets unstuck. Yeah, he literally throws himself out somehow. Um, And then... Yeah, and this is when I'm like, he's in like an ice cabin because he's slipping on the ice. Yeah, he and slips so down. Like, it's like a little yeah. ice hole and he can't get out because he's trying to run up the sides, yeah. but it's all slippery. And so. he's trying to get back to his friends and he can't. And then again, he's sad and he's extra alone now because now he doesn't have any of his friends. That's so sad. It's really sad. So the rest of the 100 acre wood crew gets mm-hmm. up to the eye of skull and guess who's up there? Christopher Flippin' Robin. Imagine that. What are the odds? How did well, he get up there? He went to go look for them because they're all a bunch of ding dongs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're all excited to see him, and Christopher Robin's like, OMG, where's Pooh? And then they hear the growl, and they all get really scared. Mm-hmm. And they're like, the Skullosaurus is coming. And Christopher Robin is like, y'all are fucking dumb, guys. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh's tummy rumbling. I know that noise anywhere. (laughs) So they go to find Pooh and his rumbly tumbly. And they pull him out of a giant honeypot. The cave in a giant honeypot. Which is the only way you should ever save anybody. Especially Pooh. Is with a giant honeypot. And then so Chris Robin explains how he was at school. Which is a human thing. I'm sending my kids to Skull. I don't yeah, know about you. I, pff, fuck school. In this economy. <laughs> In this economy. You got me saying that shit now. I know. I'm um, sorry. But so Christopher Robin hugs his BFF and is like, oh my God, I've been waiting for you guys all day. I'm so glad you're back. They sing another shitty song. Mm-hmm. The, these movies aren't known for their musical numbers, right, I right. suppose. But as they're walking through everything, nothing is as big and as scary as it was before. Uh, so like the little like ravine that they fell in that yeah. was covered in mud was literally just like a stick. The cave was like three rocks on top of yeah. each other. And then the giant scary briar patch was literally just a couple roses with thorny I mean, patches. super scary. But like it's, you know, it's a good... It's a good lesson. Like, you know, yeah. you think stuff up in your head and you make it scarier than it actually is. You know? So basically, they all go home. Mm-hmm. They watch the sunset. Mm-hmm. And that's the end. Woo! Yay! Super cute! Oh, What a good Pooh one. Pooh bear. Pooh. 
It's the crop top Babe. for me. <laughs> so I think I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Okay. Um, I do love all the characters. They are some of my favorites. But yeah, the songs, we both kind of checked out during most of it. The songs I could have done without. And it was a lot longer than I thought it was. I mean, the movie goes pretty quick, so that's good. But yeah, it was a little longer than I remember. Um, So I have it under Cinderella, but above Sword in the Stone. So mine is at number 17. I don't even know where to put it. Ah, It's so hard because I love Pooh so much. Okay, Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and give it a 7 as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, because I love Winnie the Pooh so much. Literally, all of I love them all. Like except for Owl. Owl can die, but literally, Pooh, Piglet, Rabbit, Kanga, Roo, Eeyore. My fave. Can you believe? My fave. I just love them so can much. You believe? I will watch anything with them in it. They're mm-hmm. so cute. We grew up only watching these cartoons. Like I feel exclusively like. watching Winnie the Pooh. I love the Winnie the Pooh show. Yeah, so much. Everything. And I just love Pooh so much. She talks about Pooh. Poozer sizes all the fucking time. I wish I was joking. They're not even called poozer sizes. I remember what they're actually called, but... They're his stoutness. His stoutness exercises. That is what And I is. called them his poozer sizes <laughs> one time. <laughs> you called it that more than once. And now they're his poozer sizes. Uh, so I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. I'm going to put it above Tangled. Mm-hmm. Like, I love Pooh more than flipping Rapunzel. That's Rip. for damn sure. <laughs> and below Dumbo. I okay. do like Dumbo a little bit more just because Dumbo's kind of a better movie overall. Right. So I'm putting it at 19, Fair. 7 out of 10. Are you ready for your guessies? I'm very excited. Let's do it. Do you know what month it's about to be? December. Can you guess what type of movie this is? I'm going to assume a Christmas movie. It is a Christmas okay, movie. Cool. It has been mentioned on this podcast before. Oh. It's one of my favorite movies ever, ever, ever. One of my favorite actors is the star, but he is animated in this film. He's animated? Yes. There's also many adaptions of this film that probably gave it away, but... No. Really? Oh, I'm glad I stumped you. I never stump you. You always catch me. Want me to read them back to you? Yeah. A Christmas movie. Mm -hmm. We have mentioned it on this podcast before. One of my favorite actors... But he's animated. There's many adaptions of this movie. I mean, I'm thinking there's got to be at least 10 adaptions of this movie. I don't know why my brain is just not... Is, do you have more hints than that? No, I <laughs> thought you would get it. No, I don't know. It's a classic Christmas movie. For some it's reason, like all I can think of, of is Santa five. Claus, but it's not... Yeah. Fuck Tim Allen. <laughs> I know, that's why I was Tim like, Allen not one you suck my he's an dick. asshole. <laughs> um... Oh my god, I don't know. Give me more, come up with more hints. You stop me. <laughs> okay. I mean, I need someone that's going to help me with this. So. I know. Hold on. <laughs> when did this movie come out? Um, I would say 2000, late 2000s. Maybe like 10 years ago. So it's like new-ish. Yeah. I don't know why, like my brain just won't. Does it have the word like Christmas in it? It does. does. Yeah. Wait, I thought of a really good hint. Okay. Okay, okay. so this, the main character of this adaption of this film is also in another very popular Christmas movie which is also one of my favorite Christmas movies but is not Disney is it is a Universal Christmas Carol? yes the one with um, Jim Carrey yes. okay okay I don't know why I forgot that was Disney I think well, that's why I didn't think of it I was like well my favorite Christmas movie is the Grinch like the Grinch is in Disney and yeah. I remember that he also did a Christmas Carol that's such a good one yeah and there's so many adaptions of a Christmas Carol but, but this one this one is one of my favorites and it's also kind of creepy which it I is. love like it's super eerie yeah I oh, love I'm excited. It. Yay! I love this one. Jim Carrey's my boyfriend. Ooh. He's my boyfriend. I know, I do He doesn't like him. know, but he's my boyfriend. <laughs> December's really crazy for us. Okay, my mother's birthday is November 30th. Kat's birthday is December 2nd. Mm-hmm. My birthday is December 15th. And then obviously Christmas. So this is a real dumb, busy time of year for us. Yeah, we're... This time of year is always really bananas for us. Mm-hmm. So we're going to get my mom a cat. Yep. Dad, don't listen to this episode. Yeah, Fred doesn't approve, but we don't really give a fuck. <laughs> no, she also really wants a pig. She talked about a pig for like... We can't get her a pig. She wants a pig. We ha- we're getting her a cat. Okay. Like a normal pet that mm-hmm. people have. People have pigs. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we are so super close to 100 ratings and reviews. reviews. 
Our Patreon is popping. I'm yeah, not gonna lie. I'm excited. We're gonna, we're gonna try to do at least one video a month. Mm -hmm. Probably the middle of the month. Yeah. So That's subscribe cool. to Patreon. It's only five dollars a month. You get exclusive content, and then we're gonna send out goodie bags in the summer. Mm -hmm. That's when we're gonna do it. But don't wait till summer to sign up because that will make me sad. Just do it now. Yeah, because. <laughs> The money that you guys send us on Patreon will go towards the goodie bags. Yeah, you want better gifts? Yeah. Sign up for Patreon now. And you guys will get discounts when we eventually have merch? Yeah, someday when I don't have $35 in my bank account. When I actually have a debit card that wasn't hacked. <laughs> yeah, someone tried to buy $48 worth of stuff on Kat's card, and then God had to, we had to cancel it. I didn't even have $40. <laughs> so. Yeah, they, they're fools. But, Wrong credit card to steal, motherfucker. Yeah, for real. But yeah, we are actually really enjoying everything that so far that we've made on Patreon, which yeah. is we had so much fun when we finally figured out what the hell we oh, yeah. did. Oh my gosh, so. follow us on TikTok. We posted our first video, our first TikTok on Kat's account, mm -hmm. just so it would actually get some traction. But we're gonna start posting TikToks to the tragical TikTok. Correct. And they're gonna be funny. They're the first one we did, I don't know if you guys saw it was quite hilarious. I thought it was funny. It's on our highlights, so please go watch it. I don't know if we are the only people who think it's funny, but... Probably. Who cares? But that's fine. Share this podcast with a friend. Please. And we love you. And we love you. Bye. Okay, bye. Goodbye. Bye, 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 bye. Let the bodies at the floor. Let the bodies at the pool. <laughs> <laughs> These opinions are our own and are in no way associated with the film or the film's production company. The cover art for Tragical Podcast was created by Johnny the Alchemist on Instagram. Give him a like and a follow to see more of his insanely good artwork and to contact him for any of your artwork needs. The Tragical Podcast intro music was produced by Ja Reezy. Contact information can be found on his Instagram at Ja Reezy. J-A-H-R-E-E-Z-Y.